Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the new fabrics that have come into my shop during February. So I'm actually posting this video a little bit later than planned. I normally always try to post a new fabrics video on the last Wednesday of each month but we had a really really big delivery of so many amazing fabrics and the timing wasn't going to kind of come in quite right so yeah I'm posting it a little bit later but it is worth it because I've got so many new things to show you. Now the G&G team and I have been working super hard to get these all onto our system and listed on the website as quickly as we can and um, in total we've had over 90 new fabrics to add to the website so it's quite a feat to get them all photographed and get all the descriptions done and everything so depending on when you're watching this video not every single one that I mention might be online yet but they are all in their way they'll all be in the just arrived section and what I'm also going to do is put a blog post together as well which I'll put a link to in the description of the video and it'll link all of the fabrics that I mention as well but as always the just arrived section on the website is the best place to see the very brand new things that are in so everything that's in this video is some form of stretchy fabric so whether it's like a lighter t-shirt weight or it's like a sweatshirting or like a kind of cardigan style weight it's all stretchy and I'm going to show you it sort of sectioned into kind of different categories so if you hover above the timeline bar on the video as you're watching it you'll see that I've sectioned it out into chapters of, diff of the different types of jersey that I'm going to talk about so if you're especially interested in one type of jersey then or slash sweatshirting then you can just sort of skip to that part of the video if you want to and um, these videos are always the best way to see the fabrics like up really close because I'm I'm going to take lots of little video clips that mean that you can just sort of see the texture you can see the drape and feel of the fabric up close if you follow me on instagram you'll know that recently i have been doing weekly live friday night instagram videos and um, so it's at eight o'clock every friday night on instagram so you just have to visit my profile and then it sort of pops up and that's a good way to see new things that are in the shop as well but obviously because it's live and it's still winter time here in the uk it's dark and the colors of the fabrics don't always show up like in the ideal way on those live videos and um, although they are a good way to sort of see week to week what's new in the shop and um, so I hope you find this video useful in terms of seeing things up close okay enough of an introduction I'm gonna get tucked right in so the first group of fabrics that I'm going to show you are all sweatshirting fabrics so these are all going to be ones that have got a nice soft fleecy back and they are perfect for your classic jumper patterns so at the moment I'm wearing a Tilly in the Buttons Billy sweatshirt so as you can see it's just like classic sweatshirt pattern but other examples are the Greenline Linden and um, the Megan Nielsen Jara there are lots lots more so all of them are going to be suitable for that so House 7 Toaster that's another really popular one so we've had a new colourway of our Splash sweatshirting so um, this one here Year, which some of you might recognize from the g, &G sewing society kit so this is a lovely new kind of rosy pinky color weight it's gorgeous so yeah as i said it's organic as well it feels so soft got that lovely lovely fleecy back to it and then this kind of splash sort of scribble spot on it is a black so you could contrast this with some black cuffing or ribbing if you wanted to or you can um, check out my jersey neckbands video and it shows you how to use the same fabric for the neckband so gorgeous new colorway of that we've also had two new colorways of our super popular cozy colors range as well so these fabrics actually came into the shop on really big rolls and I've kind of taken a little section out just so that I can like hold up to show you. So I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of fabric here, but believe me, we've got plenty. It's on a big roll. So this is an absolutely beautiful teal color. This is just so nice. So the cozy color range has that classic fleece back again lovely weight of sweatshirting and as you can see up close it's got these little flecks of color in it so sort of little yellow and red and blue kind of flecks which give it a lovely lovely texture so yeah that gorgeous teal color is a new one and then the other brand new color of cozy colors um, is this amazing pink one here this is a lovely kind of rosy sort of color as well it's so nice 
I think this one might be my favourite, but you guys know that I love everything pink anyway. Um, so yeah, another new colour of the Cozy Colours. And then back in stock after very popular demand, we've been waiting a long time in this, is the Burgundy Cozy Colours. So this isn't a brand new one, but it is back in stock and I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. So if you were on our inquiries list, then um, you will hopefully have heard from us already that that Burgundy one is back in stock. So that's all of the Cozy Colours. Then new to our sweatshirting range, we have started to stock um, a few colours and the collection probably will grow over time if you guys like it, is totally totally plain sweatshirting. So the cosy colours are good because they're plain but they've got that little fleck, it just gives like a really nice texture to the fabric. Um, I also find very useful if you live around small children who seem to get your clothes very dirty a lot of the time because it disguises it a little bit. If you like something just clean and plain then we've got a new range of plain sweatshirting. It feels very similar to cosy colours, got that lovely soft fleecy back but it is just like a very flat plain colour. So we have introduced it in a navy, we've also got a whiny sort of burgundy colour, a stone grey and a black and I'm not sure if they've all arrived yet, but we are going to be having the matching ribbing that goes with that as well, which is also organic. So I've got the navy bolt here. Um, so the ribbing comes, it's like a little tube as it comes like this. And it's obviously really stretchy. So you use that for your neck bands, your cuffs and your hem bands. Um, you can coordinate it with other fabrics as well, of course, but these are like the match. So yeah, that's just going to be a new kind of stock item for us, that lovely plain range. Then also in the sweatshirting department is an absolutely amazing collection of four colourways of this super beautiful kind of animal spot print here. So it comes in this lovely grey here, also a white colour here. And then we've got this lovely kind of like orangey sort of ambery kind of color and then a really nice kind of greeny one as well I'm struggling to pick a favorite here they're all really nice so it's quite a small scale sort of animal print it's, it's very subtle very classy i think it's lovely and it is black the little sort of you know the contrast of the print there again it's got that gorgeous gorgeous lovely soft fleecy back so it would be really super duper cozy and it is organic as well it's organic cotton so yeah just another really lovely range in that i love this one i love white stuff but i'm, I'm just feel like it might be a bit impractical for me given that i do have children that seem to get food all over me but yeah we do have the new ribbing range which i showed you that navy one we do have that in a really like bright crisp white as well which would go lovely with that I think that would look gorgeous and um, maybe I'll give it a try and wear it for like an hour once everyone's back at school and nursery um, okay so that is in the sweatshirting department what I'm going to move on to now are stripes I know that stripes are always really popular and we've had a few new ranges in of different stripe fabrics so the first one that I've got here this is a cotton loop back so really it ends up kind of being a bit between like a fleecy back sweatshirting fabric and like a lighter sort of jersey t-shirt weight fabric because it is just that little bit thicker it does make it really versatile though because I think it can then cross over between using it for your classic jumper patterns and for t-shirt patterns as well it would just feel like a kind of thicker heavier t-shirt if you used it for t-shirt patterns so we've got it in three different colorways this one here is the marled pink and it's like three sort of narrow stripes together um, and you can see it's just got a really kind of lovely weight to it and yeah so it comes in two other lovely colorways as well so a really nice versatile stripe because it does have that loop back to it then we've also got a range of three different colors of this stripe here so this is more like your classic t-shirt weights so this is a cotton jersey the stripes woven into the fabric so that's just sort of part of the weave this is a lovely chestnut color and then we've got two other colorways as well and that one feels really lovely and soft it's really nice so think classic t-shirt patterns like the green line lark the tilly and the buttons agnes anything like that it's got a nice amount of stretch in it and yeah i think it would look lovely like paired under some dungarees or something or yeah just even if it's like a plain little sort of t-shirt that you wore with some jeans it would be really nice the cut the color range is just lovely 
sort of quite soft colors but yeah just a very very nice color choices in that and then possibly one of my favorite ones and I know you guys are going to love this as well because we have sold so much of the navy in a crew colorway of this and the sort of vice versa so this is a new colorway of that fabric if you've used it before this was also the same type of fabric that was used in the sewing society kit that was for the gable top so it works perfect for the gable top i think i might actually make some of this colorway in the gable top so it's a cotton look back as well so quite like that other stripe that i showed you first a sort of in between like a sort of heavier fleecy sweatshirting fabric and then like your t-shirt fabric so this is a lovely sort of pinky color with a chestnutty stripe and then we've got it in the reverse as well so where the wide stripe is that chestnutty color and the narrow stripe is the pinky color we do also have it in two other colorways as well we've got a navy and red and then like a teal and a kind of orangey color too so sort of darker tones but they're all beautiful these fabrics just wash and wear so well they're lovely i wear my stripy gable one that's the accru and navy all the time and it's yeah it's one of my favorite tops so i'm looking forward to having a pink version in this um, it's just lovely so that is all of my stripes for you and then moving on to some printed ones so I'm going to first of all show you ones that are kind of a bit more sort of grown up or kind of adult and then I do also have some stretchy prints that are more for like kids kids wear so they're a bit little bit more novelty or kind of a bit more fun but I'll show you the more grown up ones first of all this one here is a cotton and a medal mix tensile medal so it's quite lightweight and because it's got that tensile medal fiber in it it makes it have a really beautiful drape so if I just unroll a little bit of that here and kind of hold it up to show you you can see that it's got it just sort of like hangs a little bit more you tend to find that cotton jersey just sort of holds its shape that little bit more so again it's got a sort of kind of like abstract kind of splodgy sort of animal print on it and the colors are just beautiful in this as well so this particular one is like a chestnut with a navy and then a pink and then the other one is like a pink background with a sort of ochre and then I guess like a kind of dark tan or sort of brownie kind of color on it and it's just beautiful I really want to make a little t-shirt in this and um, just like a little sort of short sleeve t-shirt would also look really good in the closet core ebony top because it's got that sort of swishiness to it so yeah two amazing lovely colorways of that i think some of that might be sneaking its way home to me as well and then we've got this gorgeous sort of like painterly watercolor one which has got so many gorgeous tones and it. it's lovely again this one comes in two colorways as well so this one here is the ochre and then yeah the color palette on it is just gorgeous really lovely and bright so this one is a viscose as opposed to a tensile medal but the, in terms of the properties of the fabric very very similar so gorgeous and drapey i think this would look lovely as a dress a nice wrap dress or like a long the closet case ebony again sorry to keep going on about it but i just really love that pattern it's like a very sort of swishy dress version of that one it's really nice that would look gorgeous in that with some some tights nice transitional piece to wear so yeah two amazing colorways of that one and then the next one again we're back to tensile modal fabric for this one this particular one comes in three different colorways and it's almost sort of like an abstract kind of feather print to it it's gorgeous it's lovely and um, again really good for just an, a lovely little top t-shirt and um, you could make a nice jumpsuit in that as well if you want it's, it's lovely feels so so soft and just got that gorgeous drape as well so pink and a kind of bronzy one then we've got a red and a navy one one and then also a navy and a mustard one an ochre one so yeah some lovely choices in that print as well I think that's gorgeous and then the next one is a bit flowery and we were when we were thinking up a name for this fabric I had to take a quick picture of it and send it to my mum because she's very good at knowing what her flowers are so we decided to call this print begonia and I think it's just really lovely I kind of love the color combinations in this one this is probably my favorite so this is like a kind of minty colorway with a navy background but we do have two other really lovely colorways in that one as well this is a tensile medal so again it's got that gorgeous softness kind of silkiness to it it's just so soft and drapey beautiful so again 
lots of nice colour wee options in that print. So the next little group of fabrics that I've got to show you are still stretchy, as I said in the beginning, everything's stretchy, but they don't really fit into either like the sweatshirting, like fleecy back sweatshirting category, and they're not really like a normal sort of jersey either. They're kind of in between. So there is a little bit of a mix, but I think they would all really be good for cardigan patterns and jumper patterns as well. And we do have everything in quite a few different colorways too. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is this one here, which comes in two colorways. This particular colorway is a really lovely soft gray, and then we've also got it in a really soft pink colorway as well. And it is a knitted fabric, so it's stretchy. And you can see that the texture of it is like, yeah, like it has actually been knitted really. It's really, really soft and sort of brushed in one side. Then you can see it's sort of a little bit flatter on the other side. This would be perfect for something like the True Bias Marlowe cardigan or the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. It would feel so soft and snuggly. It is absolutely beautiful. It's viscose and polyester with 3% elastane. So you can, the viscose, that high viscose content does mean that it is quite a sort of floppy one. But I think it would just look lovely in that sort of kind of slouchy, oversized style of cardigan or a jumper. Um, it's really, really nice. So yeah, two colorways of that one, the soft gray and then the pink as well. Then also in more like the cardigan department is this one here, which is like a ribbed fabric. So I've got the kind of whiny sort of maroony one to show you. So as you can see, when I hold up, the sort of ribs are running parallel to, to where the selvage is here. And yeah, it's just got a really sort of like chunk, lovely kind of chunky texture to it. This is 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So it feels really lovely and soft. And again, it's gonna be perfect for a cardigan pattern. So the True Bias Marlowe would look amazing in this one. It is really, really nice, lovely and snuggly. And yeah, just, just that sort of perfect kind of cardigan weight. You could use it to make a jumper as well. I think the, the Soul House 7 toaster version number two, the one that's got that more of that kind of flop sort of cowl neck not the one that's got like the stand-up kind of band I think it would work in that fabric as well and the one that I showed you before and um, you could use it for that too I would say maybe for more like your classic jumper patterns it's probably going to be better that you actually used some kind of cuffing or ribbing fabric as opposed to the same fabric for the neckband so it'd just be a case of getting something that sort of contrasted or kind of coordinated because it might be difficult to get like an exact color match in that but um yeah it is a really really lovely kind of unusual fabric so three colorways of that one as i said you've got this lovely one here we've got a navy one and then we've got a soft gray one as well and then next in this department let me just pop this one down it's very very bulky and um, is this fabric here which is really interesting it's got a gorgeous texture texture to it we've got it in four colors but i've got two up to show you here i'll show you the other two close up so we've got a navy and a gorgeous kind of amber sort of ochre color here also comes in pink and a kind of minty sort of sagey color as well and it's almost a bit like a reverse terry so this is the front of the fabric here and when i show you up close you can see that it's got these kind of like ribs or sort of lines on it and they're running at a right angle to the selvage here so they'd be going horizontally across your garment whereas the back just sort of looks you know you can tell that's the back it's just sort of a little bit of a flatter texture it is 85% cotton with a bit of polyester and 2% elastane, so it does have a good amount of stretch. It is really soft. It holds its shape fairly well, so it would be perfect for cardigans and jumpers as well. And it's just, it's just really unusual. I love it. I love the texture of it because it's not like very sort of uniform lines. The lines have almost got like a little bit of kind of irregularity to them a little bit. It's just, yeah, just really unusual texture that is just very, very lovely. And then, yeah. That is that sort of lovely kind of golden sort of rich ambery color as well it's lovely and then the next one i've got has also got a really lovely texture as well and um, this one comes in four different colorways which is nice so when you look closely up at this one it's almost like a sort of twisted kind of cable texture to it it's really nice and um, and then if I show you the reverse, you can kind of see what that looks like here. I would say this is probably a bit more lighter weight than the other ones that I've shown you so far. 
This is a cotton and polyester mix, almost sort of 50-50, except it's got a little bit of elastine in it. It actually sort of makes me think of like a lighter weight Ponte Roma, but you could use it for jumpers, you could use it for cardigans too. It is just gonna be like a little bit sort of kind of floppier, more so than the others, because it, yeah, it's just generally like a lighter weight fabric. But yeah, four lovely, beautiful, rich colors in that, it's really nice, and yeah, it's just, just another really lovely texture. So if you like, like things that are more plain, like you don't like sort of fancy prints or anything, then these texture fabrics are really good because it allows you to just have something that's got a bit of interest in it, but yeah, it's just got a texture as opposed to like a really bright kind of fancy print. And um, then the next one that I've got here, this comes in, I think it comes in three different colorways, this one, and it has got a really lovely texture to it as well. So it's kind of like a pontel kind of rib. So you can see that it's got these like little kind of irregular little holes in it basically but obviously they're intentional um, and it overall has this kind of rib effect to it and um, I think that'd be lovely for like a little t-shirt or a top you could make a cardigan with that as well and um, a kind of lighter weight style cardigan would be the Jennifer Lauren handmade juniper cardigan it's more of like a sort of kind of fitted lighter weight cardigan whereas I kind of see the true bias Marlowe or the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan is more like kind of chunky sort of oversized ones whereas the juniper is a bit more yeah kind of fitted and sort of lighter weight so that would be really nice for this fabric here so um but yeah you can just use it to make like tops or a very lightweight jumper as well and yet yeah, three really lovely colors in that one and then this one is really super soft and cozy oh my goodness it is so snuggly um let me bring it up onto the table for you. It's got a very marled effect as well. So the color in it is lovely because it's got, you just sense that it's got like lots of different color tones. So this particular one here is the gray one and we've called it brushed because it almost like has that sort of brushed feeling on the right side. It's almost like it's fluffy a little bit. It does have a very high content of viscose. It's 80% viscose. So it does make it really, really quite floppy but it's so soft and snuggly i would say this is going to be better more for like tops and t-shirts it is pretty stretchy Um, i'm not sure if it would be like quite stretchy enough for like a kind of turtleneck one depend what pattern you were using you'd maybe have to lengthen the neckband piece on that Um, but it is it is beautiful and yet three really lovely soft colorways in that it's gorgeous you would feel very very warm and snuggly if you were wearing that fabric and then the last one that I've got to show you again this one comes in three really lovely colorways as well and I've got the teal one over to show you here this is like a double knit fabric it's like two layers of fabric together basically and then they're sort of woven with this kind of little window kind of square that just gives a bit of contrast so the reverse of it looks stripy but then the front side yeah just has this sort of regular kind of square spot I guess on it so this is 70% cotton and 30% polyester it's not like super stretchy but it does have a bit of a give in it and um, it would be suitable for jumper patterns and cardigan patterns as well um, and tops that maybe you, where you want something like with a little bit more structure like the Tilly in the Buttons Coco would be good for that as well and yeah as I said three really lovely kind of rich colours in that one too it feels really lovely and soft another a very nice one then the next ones that I've got to show you fit a bit more into the sort of kiddie kind of novelty category but still all really nice and fun so this one here is we're back to sweatshirting again and this is one of the organic um, brushed sort of brushed back nice fleecy back and if any of you know our popular doodle zoo sweatshirting print that we had this is basically the same fabric as that but it's got like a little doodle elephant on it instead and it comes in three really lovely colorways too so think like the poppy and jazz strawberry sweatshirt pattern it'd be perfect for that it's lovely it's so so soft it's gorgeous and yeah the elephants are just a very very cute cute so yeah three beautiful colorways in that one then we've had this one which is very fun little zebras kind of galloping along 
here are trotting along. Again, this is a sweatshirt one, so it's got that lovely fleecy back to it and just like a little bit more of a heavier weight. Again, it also comes in three colorways as well. We've had lots of color variations of all of these prints, which is really nice because it means you can choose the, the color that you like the best. Um, so yeah, just another fun kind of novelty one. And then the next ones are more like a classic cotton t-shirt weight. So they're a bit of lighter weight. Um, this one is amazing, this Planets one, it's so nice. Um, so the Poppy and Jazz Elm t-shirt, that kind of style. So it's more like a t-shirt, sort of long sleeves top style kind of fabric for kiddies. It'd be perfect for that. So yeah, again, it's just really lovely and soft, bit of a lighter weight. So yeah, gorgeous planet design. I think we've only got one colorway of that one. And then also got this lovely little cheeky cat one here where it's like a, the face of a lion and a cheetah. And I think it's a male lion maybe and a female lion on this lovely kind of bluey gray background as well. So that is just another yeah it's just really fun little novelty prints and then something that is right up my daughter Sophia's street she's four and very girly and she loves anything that is cute and um, we've got two colorways in this one so again this is that t-shirt weight and it comes on a sort of marled background so this particular one is the navy colorway and then we do also have it in a kind of gray colorway as well so this is little ballerina bunnies which is very nice and you can see that it's just got these little glitter accents here so the musical notes and the shoes and the sort of bow and the hair i've got all those little glitter accents it's really lovely and um, so yeah it'd be perfect for a nice little dress for someone or a little t-shirt or my daughter would probably want pajamas in it she'd want like the whole outfit and um, so yeah two colorways of that one which is nice you could even sort of contrast them as part of the same outfit so that rounds up everything that I wanted to show you in this video. I feel like I've flown through quite a lot of fabric, but hopefully it gives you a really nice overview and an idea of all the different things that we have had in stock recently. Remember to check out the Just Arrive section online. That's where everything's always listed when it's new and it comes into the shop. You can check out the blog post that's linked to this video because it will have all of the links specifically to the fabrics that I've mentioned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye